Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be doing the load test on the Furman 3650, but we're going to run it against the Predator 3500 and the WAN 3800. We're going to do a load test and see when we can overload them and see how much they run. So uh, let's go ahead and get this test started. We're going to start with the uh, Furman first. Okay guys, so we got the Furman 3650. It has a peak running watt of 3,650 and a running watt of 3,300 watt. We're going to try and see how much it will run. I'm going to be using the watt meter to measure the amount of watts we get out of it. We have a 1,200 watt microwave and the two heaters to kind of add some extra wattage. This one's 1,500, this one's 1,500. So we're just going to get up to the uh, running watt and see where the peak running watts are and see how when it cuts off. And then we'll compare it to the Predator 3500 and the, the WAN 3800 just to kind of compare it to something else. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get the test started. Let's fire up the, uh, the Furman. Let's fire it up. Hundred and twenty four volt, which is pretty good. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put three minutes on the microwave. That's going to bring us up to 1.2 kilowatts. Then I'll turn on the uh, first heater on high. That brings us up to 2.8. Running real good. I'll turn the first, we're going to turn the second heater to one. Okay, we're almost at our peak running watt right there. Remember the peak running watt is 3300. We're at 32, which is real good. Second, okay, 35. We got our overload light at 3,500. Let's see how long we run 3,500 for. I mean, 3.5 kilowatts. It's at 120 volts. Okay, let's go a little higher and I think that's going to do it. All right, we shut off. We overloaded. Okay, so the Furman, it runs at 3,500 easy which is pretty good because the, the peak running watt is 3,300. Okay, let's go ahead and hook up the Predator and see what we can get. Let's go ahead and try the Predator and see where we can get it. Okay guys, so we got the uh, Predator hooked up and I can tell you right now, the Predator is a little more quiet than the uh, Furman, definitely, you could tell it's, it's a little quieter. We're gonna do the first, turn the microwave on, three minutes. Twelve hundred. Okay, turn on the next heater.
Okay, 2.7. We'll go to the one setting on the, uh, the heater. 3.12. Predator 3500. It's flashing its over light, overload light. Right at 3,000. Okay, let's see if we can get at least 37. Second. 3.2. Overload lights flashing a little faster. Okay, one more. 3.3. And let's go for the overload. 3.6. There you go. So it overloaded at 3.6. So this one overloads at 3 points. I have to watch the tape to make sure exactly which one it was. And this one's right at 37. This one's right at 36. Okay. Let's get the WAN. 3800 hooked up. Let's see where we're at. Okay guys, so we got the WAN hooked up. Let's go ahead and put it in eco mode. Okay. So we're gonna put the microwave, we did three minutes. It goes up to 1200 watts. 1.19. Okay, let's we'll turn on the 1500. At 2.7. Okay, once it's stabilized, we'll turn on the, the first one. On. At 3.18. Okay, one more. Okay, that's what we check for overload light. Okay. Overload light is flashing and it says it's at 100%. Remember, this one goes up to 3,400. See right there? And it's at 3,400 right now. Okay, give it all we got. Let's see where it shuts off. At 110. All right. Shut down. Okay, guys, so we just finished load testing the WAN, the Furman, and the Predator. They all were load tested and overloaded. So we got different shutoff for each one of them. So this one looks like it overloaded right at 35.5. This one looks like it overloaded right at 37. And this one overloaded right at 36. So 3.6. 3.7, 3.55, and I'll show that we'll look at the video at the end and make sure I got them numbers right. So this is a test comparison 
of the WAN 38, the Furman 3650, and the Predator 3500. Three awesome generators. So if you guys are in the market looking for a 3000 watt and above generator, these three right here, you can see they're all rated and they all performed and ran their rated watts. So that makes them real cool. The Predator and the WAN are actually the quiet ones, quietest ones. The Furman is not as quiet, but it does, you know, deliver. So there you go, guys. Which one do you think performed the best? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know down in the comments which one you guys think performed the best. As far as features, you know, this one having the wheels and the handles, this one having the wheels and the handle, and the Predator just have the four wheel. Okay guys, so we just finished the test and you saw the results. Every one of them performed as rated, so you can't really knock them for anything. The Predator and the WAN, they are a little quieter than the Furman. You guys make that decision, which one you guys like the best. Leave them in the comment and let me know which one you picked. And guys, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you guys hit that subscribe button to help me out. And have a great and fantastic day. Peace.